Hello everyone, Funshine X here. Welcome to Regrowth Amplified. It's that time, guys. It's time to kill Leonard to complete the quest book. And stick around for the end of the episode for a special announcement. First off, let's talk about uh, what we the final preparations that we need to make. Um, I have set this guy up as a energized node. I'm going to switch back to just some quick footage of showing the animation that goes off when you do that. All right, and so it ends up we got a five 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 eight. So eight and pretty show five and everything else. It's not that great, but it's not that bad as well because this is actually. It, you can see how fast my ward, wand will charge. Um, right now I've got three of them down to about 86. We'll throw this in there. 87, 88, 89, 90. So this can charge 100 V and, and on a wand very quickly. Obviously it'd be a little faster if we had more um, Sun of E, but that's fine. This is plenty for what we're dealing with. Okay, in the uh, the focal thing, I finished off my equal trade. I only went with four because the fifth one is just crazy amounts that take forever. Um, but I got both enlarged twice. Then I got this architect mode, which I actually don't like, but I'll show it to you. And then the frugal, so it costs less. So if I had to pick another one, I'd probably go with a second frugal. Yeah, maybe probably another frugal. Um, but 40 levels, my goodness. Let's, before I show you that, let's get the fire one. Uh, where did we put the fire one? It's in a bag somewhere. There it is. Put the fire one in there and get it started. We've got um, choices between potency, increases the damage, frugal, which lowers the V. We want potency for sure. Go. Once you get the first level, it only takes, you know, like 5 to 10 V of each aspect, so it goes pretty quick. I'm going to need some more levels, so let me go down and get some of that kind of stuff. Okay. And it's always going to take as long as the largest one, you know, since we have, unless it's pretty show being the largest. Uh, okay. Now we've got another one. Alchemicals fire, increase in potency of the elemental. Any target satellite will burn for much longer. I don't really care about things burning longer. I want to deal more damage so potency again go this one will just water water in the earth will be last okay so while that's happening let's go look at the one focus equal trade with the special architect mode you can see here now we've got this like uh, cool outline that's going to show us exactly how big the area will be that we're going to modify and let's see I think my Thing is X, yeah, so I've bound it to X, which is like the miscellaneous wand button. And as I hit that, it's going to grow or shrink it. So I can kind of control the size of this guy, which is pretty nice. So let's put it back to its maximum. And then also, if I hit Shift and that button, you can see the uh, the thing turned. And now it's going to go into a column mode, which actually doesn't seem to be working. Um, hmm. Let's go over to here. That was working earlier. <laughs> huh. Shift X. Yeah, this was supposed to be doing a call mode, but it doesn't appear to be working. Probably because I don't have any of the dirt, maybe? I don't know. Really weird. But it's supposed to be able to be configurable so that you can affect a column or a row. And you can control the size. One thing I don't like is it um, limits it to a single Y level. So before, if I would use it like here, it would have traveled up to there and down, kind of in a big, just like circular area. Now it stays on the same Y level, which is not good for an amplified world, especially when I'm trying to transform the coast like this. Basically means I have to transform single blocks at a time because they don't span out like they should. So I'm not a really fan of the architect mode on the on the um, equal trade focal foci focus, <laughs> um, but that's kind of what it does. All right, so this one should be done. We get our third one. Let's say fire beam. It's going to be a beam. I don't really like that. I like it to have be a, a big wide area. And then we've got an explosive fireball. Nope, just want more damage. We need 24 levels. So let's use our experience drops since that's under 30. Go. And that one's going to take a long time. 
<laughs> Let's look in here in this bag. I have a, I went and made a brew bag. Remember the recipe was a bunch of impregnated leather and golden thread. And the way this works is you shift click to load it with potions. These are all my harming potions to kill the blue spirits. And then as you hold it, you can right click and then you're going to select, you know, either to the left or to the right or stuff. I'm about to throw a passion of harming, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> so the, depending on which way you move your mouse, um, which it'll be which brew is put. So you could put eight different potions in here and it'll be able to cast eight, you know, you could easily select which potion you wanted. But I just want an easy method to have brews of harmings um, that don't take up my entire inventory. So that's the brew bag. Um, we're going to kill the red ones with fire. We'll kill the green ones with our sword. Um, we'll also get the other the other sword in case we can't reach them easily. Um, we're going to be wearing runic shielding. And I don't have a full set of 30 extra hearts, but I think we're good. I don't think we'll take that much damage with the runic and the re natural regen that we have. Um, over here you can see I've got... Uh, 12 stacks of Demon's Bane Splash and 12 stacks of Resizing. That took a long time and a lot of material, <laughs> but we got that done. Um, let's see, that's pretty much it. I didn't do any more of that. So let's go ahead and grab these. Um, this is going to take up a lot of inventory space, so I might want to make another bag before we fight him. At the end, what we're going to do, um, here's our strategy. We're going to take him down to... Um, probably around 50% health. At 50% health is when he starts summoning the spirits. Uh, and at that stage, he's not affected by Demon's Bane yet, so he's still immune. So you want to get rid of those spirits. Once those spirits are gone, you can then sort him down until he gets to about 150 health or 25%. At that point, he's going to go immune and spawn spirits again. And he's also going to grow. So we're going to hit him with a resizing potion. And then we're just going to spam Demon's Bane to take him from 150 down to zero. In testing, it took me 42 potions to kill him from 150 health down to zero. Now it doesn't seem like you're doing much damage. But remember, he is healing a lot of health points at that stage. Um, so, you know, you have to kind of out damage his healing to, to kill him. So, let's see, how am I going to, I'm going to definitely need another brew bag. Okay, there we go, two diamond vapors, I forgot you get two in every recipe, so should be okay to make another potion bag. And get one of these, and some leather. Okay, potion bag made. There we go. Second brew bag. In this one, we will put uh, all the Demon's Bane. Okay. And I think we probably don't need this many uh, harming potions, so let's put our resizing in there as well. So I'm going to take a few of the harming potions out. And putting in a few of the resizing. So that should be plenty of resizing. <laughs> I'll probably use like four or five. Okay. So now when I right click, I can just select, go to the right to get harming, left to get resizing, pretty much. Okay, cool. And then these ones will just have extra in case we run out. Or maybe we'll use those first. I think we're good to go. Um, let's finish off this uh, this wand, and we'll head on out there, get all equipped with everything that we're going to use, and we'll be good to go. So I will be back as soon as I apply the fifth level of potency, and uh, head out to where Leonard has been summoned. Be right back, guys. All right, guys, it is time to fight Leonard. We have in our first brew bag all our brew of resizing, our brew of harming. Slot two is our silverwood wand with a uh, potency five. Um, cost. It's not going to last very long. We're going to go through this pretty quickly. <laughs> uh, this bag has all of the Splash Brew Potion of Demon's Bane. We've got our sword. We've got Teleport Out in case we're about to die. Uh, we've got uh, Cure Debuffs in case he puts that uh, Focus Will or Will of Death or whatever that thing is called. 
some extra splash potions of Demon Bane, and our Fruit of Grisea just to eat if we ever get hungry. He is uh, just about repaired to full, so let's get going and start attacking him. Here we go. You ready? Bring it, Leonard. Alright, so remember, take him down to 300 health. Ah, this knockback is not good. He's still damageable. He stole our sword. He does, a, uh, he does have a disarm. Alright, now he's at 300. He's got a fire one out. Okay. Oh, he's got a bunch of fires. Those are easy. We can kill those quick. Look at how fast this short works this guy makes of him. Alright, he's damageable again. Nope, he's got something else out. There's another red one up there. Crap. Come back, stupid red thing. I should have put a roof on this. Ah, crap. Where are you? There you are. Whoa, bad knockback. Alright, do we have Mortal Coil? We do, so let's drink one of these. Mortal Coil is still there. Ah, oh, crap. Not good. <laughs> Where's our wand? Give me back my wand! Alright, we're gonna try and get him down to 150. Nope, he put out new things. So we've got blue, so we'll put a... Which is a... Army? Oh, come on. Why can't I select these? <laughs> these are... Oh, now I'm small. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I resize myself. Killed one green one, now he's got another red one out. Red one's down. That green one's like sunk in the wall, it's no fair. Are you dead yet? Oh my gosh, these blue ones are a nightmare. Okay, he's dead. Take him down to 150, hopefully. If he does get a mortal coil off on us, um, we hopefully those... Okay, so he's big now, so shrink him. There we go. Let's keep growing. Okay, he's got things out, so now here's where we just start chucking these at him. Got them all? No, get out. Next set. Okay. Last eight. He's almost dead. Uh, let's shrink him again. Now, number three. Shrink him. Nope. He's almost dead. No, my back! Shoot! It switched him on me. Get him! And he's dead! Yeah! <laughs> wow, we didn't. We used like one heart that whole time, guys. Oh, do you think you're going to attack me? Get out of here. <laughs> Woo! That was stressful, but it worked. I don't really like these brew bags. They're a little d difficult to work with, especially on those blue, um, the blue ones. We see we, okay, motor, um, mortal coil either just went away when we killed him, or we used one of our poppets. We'll have to go check our poppet shelf to see. But we got, uh, let's put this back on so I can fly, because I have forget a lot of times. Yellow Heart, um, some kind of random enchantment book, and we get the Leonard's Urn. This is really cool, guys. This is gonna be awesome. <laughs> so, um, what is this overheating? I don't know what that even is. Let's go um, back up top to grab all our items from here. I saved them up here just so in case I died, they didn't, didn't have to go collect them. And then we'll use our teleporter to go back to base. Sweet. Little anticlimactic, guys, right? <laughs> He's supposed to be really difficult, but if you work on those methods of taking, using your sword, a very, very strong sword, to take him down to about half health, as soon as he gets those spirits out, remember, fire for the red ones, so get a really strong fire spell, something that can do fire damage. I think explosion, like blast potions, also work. Blue one need harming. Um, the harming potions, I didn't really like them in their brew bag, but they're pretty easy to kill with the harming potions. And then the green ones just got a melee. Um, if you're having trouble hitting them, go with the Excalibur sword and use its, uh, you know, targeting thing. Uh, once you get rid of those, take them down to 150, 
as soon as he gets at that point if he gets big shrink him and then just start spamming demon's bane potions we we went through 32 let's see plus 15 so f oh no another 19 we went through quite a bit almost 50 um because we we're having trouble getting them off quickly remember once he gets 150 health uh, 150 health yeah he starts regening really quick so um, even though these splash potions are doing like 15 damage, he's healing like three or four damage every time you throw one. So that's why it takes so many. Um, that's answer to Thiago's question from the last forum post. Wow, he's dead. <laughs> oh, we also got a demon heart. Forgot I could get a demon heart. Let's do a uh, quest. No, let's wait on quest rewards. Let's do the Leonard's urn. This one's going to be fun. I want to open up my brew bag here. And I want to take out a splash potion here. Let's take out one. Let's just get three different potions, okay? Up in Leonard's Urn, if you open it... Oh, I forget. Um, let, you start with Leonard's Urn power one or level one. This can hold one potion. So if we put a potion in here, Demon's Bane potion, we've now got one potion in here. And this potion lasts forever. It does not get consumed. However... You have to cast it uh, with this guy, Mystic Branch. So we need to get our Symbology book. And you guys are going to learn something that is nowhere on YouTube or in any wiki. So this is exclusive stuff here, guys. Be ready for this. <laughs> Actually, I think I did find it in one forum post after I figured out how you do it. But Leonard's Urn, what it does is allows you to cast a potion with your Mystic Branch and you can cast it indefinitely. So if you make a really, really super strong potion called Make Me Uber, and it's got all these super effects and everything, put it in Leonard's Urn and it's it's infinite. Um, you're gonna go into Symbology Book, and you're gonna go to the very, very end. And not Patatraho, that one's not implemented, but the last three before here. So Acasis, Ortis, and Baratrum. Uh, and maybe Kalem as well. Hold on, let me see how many urns there are. There's four urns. Okay, so you have a level one, two, three, and four. So the this one holds one potion. The If you kill Leonard again, you craft the two urns together, and it makes a level two, and then it can hold two potions, and then so on and so forth till you get the four level four, which is called four potions. And then you use these spells, the Kalem, Baratrum, Ortis and a cast is to cast those potions. So we only have one, so we're going to use Kalen, which is right up, left, left, down. And remember, we put a Demon's Bane potion in there. So right up, left, left, oops. Right up, left, left, down is Kalem. And if I let go, it's actually just through a Demon's Bane potion. <laughs> and if we look here, we've still got it. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, so now... I can grab the uber potion that I created. Remember, I only made two because it was so expensive? Well, I'm going to put that one in there. And that one now, if I go... Let's find a willing victim. Is there any demons around here? Witch, do you want to... Are you a demon? I don't think you're a demon, but you're going to be my victim. So right, up, left, left. That's the only problem with this is that they're hard to cast. So she should have shrunk. Yep, she shrunk. And she should... Uh, she took some demon damage, even though she's not a demon. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? Well, that's Leonard Zern, guys. And with that, check it out. Check it out, check it out. Oh, what does it want us to do? There's something left. Oh, no, we're not done. Leonard? Oh, it didn't count it. Why didn't it not count it? What? <laughs> what? I killed him. All right, so something is bugged. Maybe because I killed him with l the potion and not a sword. He didn't get the kill credit. But we did kill him, so we can do this. That's just a, a issue with HQM and not with what we did. So if we come back here and shift click there. There we go. And then we can throw this one in the ocean. 
the real quest book, there we go. We get a second Leonard Zerm. So here's what I can show you this. So um, just in case, take out the potion because I can't remember if it remembers what potion's in there. And now craft these two together. And we got the level two urn. Now we can hold two potions. So let's put the Uber one there and let's put the, uh, do we have another? Yeah, cure debuffs. I want one of those cure debuffs in case I have a, I'm ever like, uh... oh, I think it only works with splash. Ah, yeah, only splash potions work. So let's put harming in there. I could make a splash potion of cure debuffs and then it would heal me. Um, here's the other one that I want to do. And this is this is bonus. <laughs> Take a drop of luck. And let's get our brew potions here. Remember drop of luck is pretty difficult to, cre difficult to create. It's all these potions plus like 7,000 altar power. Well, it gets even better. Come in here and come to... Um, what's at the end of there? Nope. I gotta remember what level it is, but it might be a level 8 spell. Keep inventory, that's a pretty good one with a uh, focused will. But remember, if, if I make one of these really nice potions, like summon Leonard even, I could put it in Leonard's urn and use it to summon Leonard. Oh, well, no, I guess that wouldn't work because he's not a splash potion, he just comes out. But any of these would work. So we are going to do actually a bonus episode. We are not ending regrowth. We're going to do a bonus episode where I make a bunch of these potions and we put them in Leonard's Arm and just exploit them. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, so we'll do the keep inventory one. That one will allow us to die and we won't lose anything. Uh, keep effects. I think that was when we die, we keep our potions. That's not a big deal. Spread debuffs is pretty cool. We can uh, attack one and then if we have a bunch in an area. But I think the shifting seasons is really what I want to do. Um, I want to change the biome of a big area, and I can do that infinitely now. Okay, so come back next episode, next episode to see that. Um, I'm also going to show you how we can use this um, drop of luck to really, really make us amazing. <laughs> Not amazing, but make your potion crafting a lot easier. Does that entice you guys? Hopefully it does. Hopefully that's a little bit of a spoiler and lead in. Let me know, we've got 37 episodes in here. I think we're gonna go up to 40 and try and get as much done as we can. I'm gonna try and show you some cool builds. They're not gonna be as often um, because a lot of times when we get to this late in a mod pack, it takes me three or four hours to prep for a 30 minute episode. So um, expect them not as often, but we're not gonna end regrowth here. Even though we have completed the quest book, let's make sure 100% all the way through. Yes, 100%. <laughs> Sweet. And hopefully Phoenix will come out with a new update. I know he was working on point eight oh, but I haven't heard much on that front in quite a while. I think maybe they're waiting until the end of Jam Pact, and then maybe he'll put out something. Um, but we'll see. Um, if you guys like this episode, like this series, make sure you hit the like button. Help my channel grow. Make sure you're sharing it on social media and all that kind of stuff. Um, Killing Leonard, uh, there's two guys now. ESK Gaming, e -S -K Gaming who I'm going to link you below. Or actually, I'll link you right here in the middle of the screen. Um, has the the only legit, re, well, the first that I know of legit regrowth kill of Leonard. Um, and then me. And if you guys can find anyone else on the web that's killed Leonard in regrowth without cheating, let me know. <laughs> and I'll link them as well. But we're an exclusive club now because now you can join me. You can see that it's not that hard now that you have the strategy. And you can be able to kill Leonard and get his cool urn and say that you completed regrowth 100% completion. All right. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. Um, I'll be putting out some more Link Leers and then we'll be starting some new packs uh, very soon. And stay tuned for that. Follow me on Twitter. It's at FunshineX. I usually notif uh, you're notified every time I put out a video if, in case YouTube is crappy and decides not to send out emails. And uh, occasionally I put stuff there about streaming and, um, you know, other things that I'm planning to doing. And, uh, yeah, that's it. So, if you guys, uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoy. Catch you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.